hi, also hello, and also thank you for coming. Um, I'm really excited because today I'm crafting, but I'm crafting a little differently. Um, I feel like I'm whispering. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm like not whispering, but I feel like I'm whispering. I'm in my kitchen today um, because I need more space and my walls are paper thin and every time someone's in the hallway, I can hear them. And if I can hear them, they can hear me, right? Uh, I think that's how sound works. Not sure though, let me know if I'm wrong. But anyway, so maybe that's why I'm whispering. I need to just stop thinking about it. Let's move on. If you crochet, you may or may not know that something that makes crocheting a lot easier is to pre-wind your yarn into a ball and then to put that yarn in a yarn bowl. Now, does this have to be something you purchase that is called a yarn bowl? No, no it doesn't. It could just be a bowl, but I've decided I want to make my own yarn bowl. So I have been using just this ugly bowl that we never eat out of, and I was like, this is perfect for a yarn bowl, and that's what I've been using. That's what I just said. But the issue is, I craft at my desk in my bedroom, and at night I'm like, I put everything away, because unfortunately, I can't dedicate my whole apartment to crafting, because I share it with my boyfriend, and he also happens to be a clean freak, so... The two interests really don't go together and sometimes I have to compromise. So I put the bowl away at night and then what I've realized is I forget to take it out and then I just put my yarn on the floor and then it picks up my hair and each one of my lovely sweaters is enlaced with many, many pieces of my hair, which is pretty disgusting. So I've decided if I make a bowl that looks like it's supposed to be out on a desk, maybe a little artsy, that I can always have it out and then I'll always use it. I know, this was a spark of genius, if you will. So, in typical Emily manner, I have looked up on Pinterest some ideas that I have for said yarn bowl because, let's face it, my friends think I'm creative I will take crafty. I am crafty. If I want it, I can make it. But I have to want it first. I don't usually just sit and like invent my own ideas. And so Pinterest to me is like a must have. All right, let's pull it up. Okay, welcome to my Pinterest board. Um, okay, so first let's go ahead and open up clay. I was putting it in my crochet folder, as you can see here, um, however, I've, I've started getting confused with my own pins, so it doesn't take much, let me tell you that. Okay, so these are things that I want to make out of the clay, which is going to be my mode of creating the yarn bowl. Um, originally, I wanted to use polymer clay because it goes in the oven and it would kind of be a faster process. And also they say to use polymer if you want something that's like more rock solid. However, um, I just came from Michael's and an entire tub of air dry clay, which is what I ended up purchasing is $12. And for $12, you get like this much, this much polymer clay. Um, you girls on a budget. Do I have to further explain? We went with the air dry. Um, so anyway, these are, I kind of narrowed it down. I looked at a lot of yarn bowls and some of them are really cool, like this Squidward head um, and it's 3D printed. And if I had a studio, I would probably make something like a Squidward head or maybe I would just purchase this Squidward head because that is awesome. But because I wanted to sit on my desk and kind of be cute, I've narrowed it down to these, primarily the cow, the little man, the pretty face, and then cows or bunnies or whatever, pigs with lids. 
I'm going back and forth on the lid thing. So now I just have to decide. <sighs> and this is where I struggle as a Libra, making any sort of decision. Okay, I'm gonna cop out. So I am on wheelofnames.com and this is how I make all my decisions. <laughs> um, not really, but kind of, like I really can't decide. So we have cow, okay. We have sitting guy, okay. And then we have pretty face and that's what I'm gonna call them. All right, so now, here we go. Pretty face, I should have known. I don't know why, I just had. Oh, I just had a feeling. Okay, pretty face it is. I am so excited. Okay, pretty face. You know what else I kind of like about this? I feel like the top of the yarn will look like a brain. Maybe I should have kept that to myself. All right, let me put this away, get the materials and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So let me go over what I have. I'm gonna go over the game plan and then we're just gonna hope for the best. So I picked up the Crayola Air Dry Clay. This is five pounds. It, I'm realizing maybe I don't know what five pounds is. It feels a lot heavier. <laughs> Um, and I briefly read the directions. Drying time is approximately two to three days, depending on size and thickness of sculpture. I have a feeling I'm gonna let it sit like maybe even the whole week. So we'll see. And then it says use just like traditional clay. So use water to soften or connect pieces, create textures, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I have a little bowl of water. Does anybody remember these creepy little Campbell soup cups? I think I'm gonna use the bowl uh, that I usually use for yarn to mold around it to get a good circle. We will see how that goes. But first, I am using this yarn this week for a new project. So I thought I would roll it into a ball and make sure that this bowl does fit because in my memory, it was a little too small. So we'll see, it's been a while since I've actually used it. I've been doing the hair on the floor method. Um, and then I have just some parchment paper on a dollar, piece, dollar store pizza pan. Um, I don't know if that's necessary, but whatever. And then I have one of my small crochet hooks um, to like make patterns and textures and a darning needle. Can't see it, whatever. If you don't know what a darning needle is, just Google it, not a big deal. Let's move on, let's move on. Okay, finally. I like, that took so long. Bowl, yarn, it's like, it feels right. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of RuPaul's Drag Race UK, get in the zone and just start crafting. So please enjoy this royalty free music. Can't see that it is all So many can't see what you want Baby, I'm 
I don't know if I'll be able to get this off of the bowl. I think I'm gonna try the parchment paper thing. I feel like that's what parchment paper is for. And then when I take it out, I'll just smooth out the inside and get rid of the wrinkles. I'm really, I'm already having fun. I'm already having fun, so whatever. All right, look, I need to focus. Stop talking to me. Well, now it's falling apart. Uh, okay, I'm starting all over. <laughs> um, and this is because it just wasn't working. I'm gonna make a bowl the way that my brain tells me it makes sense to make a bowl. And that is to make a giant ball and then put your thumbs in it and, and mold it around. Come on. So I'm going to try and put it back on the pan. I don't know why I took it off of the pan. We're back to back in action.
Okay, so this is as good as it's gonna get. One half of it is completely like higher than the other, but I've decided I don't care because um, it's not gonna get better and it's only gonna get thinner because I keep trying to perfect it. So I'm gonna try to transfer it to a dry piece of parchment because I don't think it should sit in wet. And then I'm gonna work on the base. Okay, so I drew the little eyes on. Theirs is a lot cuter, but the head is also significantly smaller from what I can tell. And I'm realizing that I forgot there are little baby ears. So I'm going to add an ear, well, two ears, and stick them on. Or should I put them on after? I'm going to try to stick them on as long as they're not too heavy. And my goal, I think I want to try to put a hole in one of the ears. I just made this ear like way too easy. Am I like a master ear maker? It's like imagine this yarn gets pulled out of one of the ears. I just think that would be really funny. Okay, so here's the little ear I have for one side of the head and I put a little space where the yarn could come out. And now I'm gonna attach it to the head. And I always see people do like little marks and then water. And then I have to put a hole in the head and that's where I'm concerned. So let's see if I can figure it out. Oh my god oh my god i have to show you okay so this is what i have so far excuse the lighting i don't know how to get it brighter so this is the little face and then here's the ear right face and ear and then i made oh you can't even tell hold on maybe because this is purple you'll be able to see nope you can't tell, but I made a hole and it goes through the ear to the inside. And then I will thread the yarn through that hole and it will come out the ear. It'll come out the ear. Oh, there, there, you can see it. You can see the hole. And so that is where the yarn will go through. I can't believe it actually came out the way I thought it would. Look, it's kind of cute. The ears aren't like perfectly um, positioned the right way, but honestly, I already put it on and then picked it up and moved it. So it's good enough for me. Okay, it's like two hours later. <laughs> um, I have to be honest, I, wow, I'm sweating. I looked at all of the clay I had left and I looked at the mess. I even cleaned most of it and it's still a mess. And I was like, when, when is the next time I'm gonna sit and play with clay? And you know, I have to say, remember when I was really excited and thought that I was like in love with clay? It's, it's not for me. I'm like too much of a perfectionist. My nails, maybe if they were shorter, because every time I think I have something perfect, I like nick it with my nail. So like clay, just not for me. So I decided I needed to use all of the clay that was left and I made the cow. I made the cow, wait, are you ready? Look. I made some little bowls too because I just like had to use the rest of the clay but look I made the cow and I actually kind of like how it came out it's a little smaller of a bowl but that's okay and then this nostril there you go 
I make a hole in the nostril. Oh my God, I actually love the cow. I'm so happy I decided to make it. Um, I made its little feet and I think I'll put them on tomorrow because it's still really soft. Um, and I think if it's just a little, little harder, I would feel more confident putting the feet on because when I tried to make it the first time, it like sunk, like the stomach sunk so low. Um, so I had to scrap it and start all over. Ooh, I'm like destroying these bowls. But anyway, the cow, I'm so excited. The more this dries, like the more I like it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to sand the little edges or not. I don't really care. I actually still really like this. I love that we put the hole in the ear. And then my little strawberry, well, it's for my sister. Um, I don't know if I got the shape right, but whatever. So yeah, I actually am, I, you know, I started to hate the process, but I'm enjoying already the reward. So I can't wait to show you guys what they're like when they're dry and paint them with you guys. Hi. Um, okay. If you are subscribed to me, which you should, I know this is a weird place to plug that, but um, you will see me looking like this, having the same conversation in another video. Um, but basically, I was working on this video and the other said video. I don't know which is coming out first, so I don't know how to refer to them as because um, this really threw everything off. But basically, I recorded an entire day of painting and I swear it was recording because I stop frequently and like watch clips to make sure there's no tech problems. And um, uh, all of a sudden when I went to my computer, they were gone from the cloud and then they were gone from my phone, except for this one clip. Yeah, I know. I literally had like, probably three hours of footage of me mixing paints and it was very calming and relaxing. Um, but anyway, basically that's all gone. So I still wanna show you the results. I'm really happy with how they came out. So let me go grab those. Okay. Alrighty, so <laughs> um, this is Pretty Face. Um, and basically, I think she came out great. Um, the color, I don't know if you can really tell, but the color I tried to match like a terracotta or almost what the color of the clay was before it dried white. Um, and they did everything dried white. I don't know if, I don't, um, ooh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know if I was able to show that. And then I just highlighted the eyes in black. I kind of wish I did brown but oh well I can't go back now um and then I added like splotches I took like a pretty dry brush um and did splotches of like a lighter pink um kind of like in the original photo and so yeah she came out so cute and I know this is what we all have been looking for the moment of truth I'm gonna use I'm gonna cheat and use a threader even though I don't think I need one, but I'm just lazy right now. Okay, so the yarn comes out the ear and it pulls. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, honestly, I didn't think it was gonna come out this good. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Um, and then also, you know, I can definitely keep this on my desk because she's cute. And that was the goal. The only thing is, and again, I was using air dry clay. I don't have a spinning wheel. I'm not a potterer, um, but if the inside was a little smoother, the yarn would probably move better, but oh well, I'll take what I can get. And then a brief intermission from the bowls, my strawberry. The strawberry came out really cute. It's not perfect. I ran out of red paint um and you can see in person a little better um that i have these little seed indents which really make it look like a strawberry but it's still cute and i think my sister is gonna love it and then 
the cow. I named her Harriet. Um, Harriet is adorable. I don't know what else to say. Um, she's so cute. I went to put a polymer gloss on and at the time it looked like it was lifting the acrylic paint. But now that the polymer is dried, it's not that bad. And I just think she's so cute, but I haven't tested her nose yet. So let's try it out. Same style. I'm gonna cheat and use my threader. I do think I accidentally painted over the other nostril. So only one of them is all the way open. Oh well, that's okay. What did I do? What am I doing? Oh my God, this really cracks me up. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Yes! How cute is that? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is so fun. I'm obsessed. I honestly, girl, if I'm being honest, I did not think these were going to come out as good as they did. And I am just thrilled. Is this something I would do again? Probably not because, well, first of all, how many yarn balls do you need? And second of all, I just don't think clay is my medium. I'm more of a sewer, crocheter type of person. But nonetheless, I had so much fun. I'm so excited to have these in my apartment. Hopefully my sweaters will have less hair in them. Um, you know, and I guess that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry, that's it. <laughs> um, but let me know if this camera quality is better um, even than earlier in the video, uh, because if it's not, then I'll be pretty bummed, but I didn't really have a choice. Um, anyway, if you want to see me do more fun things, then be sure to subscribe, um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, or don't, or don't, nobody's forcing you to, yeah, it's up to you, um, and be sure to leave a comment of your thoughts, comments, concerns, um, but also let me know if the quality is any good, that's what I'm most curious about, um, about the new camera or camera it's my phone um but yeah and if you decide to make a yarn bowl tag me in it uh this is my instagram now that i actually have a functioning back camera maybe i'll start posting on it again um or maybe i won't i don't know <laughs> um yeah okay anyway i feel like i had something else to say but I guess if I think of it, I'll just have to tell you in the next video. So I'll see you guys. Have a great day. La 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 la.